They have a book. I don't know when that will come out. Jo Joe, not Jew. Joe. 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 Not Jew. Joe. 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 Job, job, Jew. Okay, whatever. The fellow with the boils. Alright, that's how we recognize him. Isn't it unfortunate that's how we recognize him? I, I, I recently did a, did a, um, one of the things that I, I enjoy doing but I don't have many places to do it in uh, is I like doing uh, verse by verse studies. So, but I don't have many places where I can teach verse by verse because not many people, it's a whole logistical thing. I like to come to places and just go verse by verse. But number one, it's important to remember that Job was pre, pre, pre anything. Historically, it's considered one of the oldest books. Yes? And because it was considered one of the oldest books, have you noticed that in the Old Testament, there was very little revelation about the devil? Do you notice that in the Old Testament, there's no mention of the devil at all, actually? Try and think of one outside of Job and outside of Genesis. Try and think of one occasion where the devil is mentioned in Old Testament. Actually, he wasn't mentioned. Every war that they fought in the Old Testament was a physical war. Why? Because in the Old, in the Old Testament, they were not born again. Therefore, they had no entrance into the spirit realm. They could only fight in the physical realm. They had no other way. They had no way in. Plus, because they had no way in, they had no ability to defeat the Satan. So therefore, they had no revelation of him. What happens when people have no understanding that there is a devil? When people have no understanding that there is a devil, then everything is God. Yeah? When people do not understand that there is a devil, then everything must be God. Good? God. Bad? God. Plenty? God. Lack? God. You ever hear people talk like that? It never occurs to them that there is a thief on the earth. It never occurs to them. They just couldn't, like what? That's like saying there is light, there is no darkness. Even when there is light, there are shadows. And shadows are darkness, yes? I mean, there's light in this room, but look, here's the shadows still right here, see? Yes? So, don't major on the devil. You understand that? Don't major on the devil. But there, it is necessary to recognize that there, there is, the Bible says there is such an entity. And his job, his main job, is to steal and to kill and to destroy. Notice that stealing and killing and destroying and destroying, none of them are positive traits. You would never say, here's my best friend. He specializes in stealing, killing and destroying. <laughs> yeah. Now, Job, unfortunately, for Job, Job could not read the end of Job. Okay? So Job had to live through the book of Job. And he had to live through the book of Job without an understanding that there was a devil. And Job actually said, I don't have a mediator. But do you know that you and I do have a mediator? Yes. yes. So, and do you know that by the end of the book of Job, Job had twice what he, what he lost. So if people think that they are Job, listen, if you were Job, you would have twice more than what you lost. Yes. Anyway, the book of Job, the bad part of Job, probably happened within 9 to 15 months. So if, if you meet people who've been suffering for 40 years and they tell you that they're Job, something's wrong. <laughs> And I met people like that, you know, they're suffering forever. I'm like, Job. No, you're not. Because Job only experienced that for, for anything between 9 to 15 months and he got double in the end. You've been experiencing it for 40 years. You, you ended up with words than you're beginning. You couldn't be Job. You don't qualify. Yeah? So, Job, in, that, in this situation of Job, 
God allowed Satan to work calamity and sickness upon Job, but it does not mean that it was his will. I'll say that again. <laughs> God allows God allowed Satan to work calamity and sickness upon Job, but it does not mean that it was his will. Why did God allow? I think we need to clarify that part. Why did God allow? God allowed because Job allowed. Do you know that whatever you allow, God will allow? Now, there are some things that's not true. Like whether or not you allow, Jesus is coming back anyway. Okay? Yes? Yes. Yes? Whether or not you believe it, whether or not you allow it, guess what? It's happening. You either get with the program or you fall off. One of the two. But there are some things that only happen if you allow. Why? Don't you know the Word of God tells us that God wills that everyone everywhere be saved? First Timothy tells us. But is everyone everywhere saved? Why? Because they don't will it. Yeah? And then of course we already said that the brazen serpent and the, and the Passover lamb is, is, God, is Christ providing healing for mankind. Yes? The brazen serpent, the Passover lamb, were types of Christ providing healing for mankind. Now we talked a little bit about we talked a little bit about uh, prayer cloths and different things. James talks about amongst other things. James talks about oils as well. Yes. And really all of that is just on how to minister healing to any person who believes who wants to be healed. You understand that? By the way, when you read James talking about anointing oil, you will notice that they called for the elders. The elders didn't call them. Did you know that? They have to call for the elders. Why? Because if you don't ask, you won't receive. Amen. Yeah. I'm very bold to ask for what I want. Very bold master. I don't I don't I don't make it somebody's personal job to get me what I want, but I'm very bold to let it be known what I want. You gotta get into this habit of being bold to ask. As long as it's not manipulated, you know? As long as you don't say, oh, yeah, I feel the Lord telling me you've got to give me a thousand dollars. As long as it's not something like that. By the way, if you meet people like that, don't give them a thousand dollars. Right? Don't give them a, don't even give them one dollar. Yeah. Right? But we gotta learn to be big askers, you and me. Ask big. Why ask big? Because Ephesians tells us that he gives to us above and beyond all we can ask or think. So that means that no matter how big I ask, he'll give me above and beyond. In other words, if I ask small, he'll give me above and beyond small. But if I ask medium, he'll give me above and beyond medium.